O Eternity, James Smith, The Way of Salvation Set Forth My soul is immortal, it can never cease to be. It is destined by the immutable decree of God to exist eternally. O Eternity, who can conceive your dimensions? Forever, who can grasp the mighty idea? To exist forever, solemn consideration. Millions of ages, as numerous as the stars in the skies, as the sands on the seashore, as blades of grass on the surface of the globe, as leaves which fall from the trees in autumn, are as nothing in comparison with eternity. But where shall I exist? How will I spend eternity? In happiness or in torment? That will entirely depend upon the character, the state, the condition in which I live and die. If I live in sin, if I serve self and Satan, if I die accursed, then I must suffer the due desert of my deeds. But if I savingly believe in Jesus, if I live unto God, if I die under his saving grace, then I shall possess and enjoy glory, honour and eternal life, and these for evermore. Let the solemn fact that you are immortal deeply impress your mind. Try to realise the overwhelming thought, I must live for ever, I must live for ever in unspeakable happiness or inconceivable misery. My eternal state depends on my present state. If I live unconverted, then I must die accursed. I am lost, and once lost, lost for ever. O oh, eternity! Tremendous sound! Incomprehensible idea! Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Matthew twenty-five forty-six.